What's up y'all? Welcome back to Sweet and Savory Barbecue. I'm your host Jamie Trader. Today we're going to be doing smoked chili on our big green egg. Let's get started. So we've got some olive oil heated up. We've got a sweet onion, a whole one, chopped up. It's going to get it in our pan. We're just going to soften our vegetables. We've got two jalapenos and about three or four cloves of minced garlic. We're going to let those get soft and we're going to get them in our cast iron pot. So our vegetables are nice and soft. Just going to get them poured up into our Dutch oven. Let them hang out. And we're going to start cooking our ground meat. So we've got two kinds of ground meat here. We've got some ground beef and some hot Italian sausage. This ground beef, we split 50-50 with some Wagyu brisket trimmings. If you don't have that, just regular ground chuck roast is fine. Get that in there. And then we're going to throw in our hot Italian sausage. We're going to get those mixed up together so all the flavors melt. And once it's brown, we'll get it mixed into our with our vegetables. So our ground meat is already browned up. We've drained it off. We're going to get it in our Dutch oven with the vegetables. It's already smelling delicious. Get them mixed up. Then we're gonna come with a can of beef broth. That poured in a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You don't need to drain them off, they're good just like they are. Start mixing them up. A half of a small can of tomato paste. Two 15 ounce cans of your beans. Now I've got light and dark beans here. Whatever you like in your chili is fine. We drain these beans off so there's no additional liquid from them. Let's get them mixed up in there. And now we're going to come back with our seasoning. I'll leave the recipe on the screen and down in the description for this. It's got some cumin, some chili powder, some ancho chili. Some Malcolm Reed's Grande Gringo, and we'll get that mixed in. We've got our big green egg running about 300 degrees, and we'll get this on there. So our big green egg's going here. We've got it fired up between 275 and 300. We've got some hickory smoke rolling. We're going to get our pot of chili right there in the middle. We're going to let this go for two and a half hours. You want to come back and stir it about every 30, 45 minutes or so. Keep the stuff from sticking to the bottom. Let it go for two and a half hours, and we'll come out here and cover it up. So we've had our chili on here for about two hours. Let's give it a nice stir. It's looking really good. We did add some more beef broth to it. It's almost done. We're going to let it go for another 30 minutes or so with the lid on. And it'll be ready to eat. So it's been two and a half hours. We've only been about a half hour covered. And this chili, it looks to be about done. Thick, it's hearty. That's exactly how I want to eat it. I'm going to get it off here, just let it cool so we can handle it. So before we plate up our chili, we're going to do a quick review of what we did. We had a whole onion, some jalapeno, and some garlic. We got them sauteing in some olive oil and got them soft. We put them over in our Dutch oven. Then we browned our hamburger meat. We split some hamburger and some ground Wagyu brisket. And then a pound of hot Italian sausage, so two pounds of meat total. Got that brown, got that in our Dutch oven. Put our seasoning mix in there, put our diced tomatoes, our beef broth, and our kidney beans. Got it out on the smoker at 300 degrees for about two hours, and we stirred it about every 30 minutes or so. The last 30 minutes, we just covered it up. If it starts to get a little dry on you, you can add more beef broth or water. That's fine. And now we're just going to, we got a bowl here. We're going to get some of this in the bowl. Just like that. And you can top it however you want. For me, I just like a little bit of shredded cheese and a little bit of the smoked hot sauce. And that's exactly how I like to eat my chili. All right, now I'm going to try some. Mm. That's really good. It's got some heat coming from that ancho chili powder that's in the rub, that hot Italian sausage. But the tomatoes really mellowed out. That sugar balances it. That is fantastic. You put that with a little cornbread, you're good to go. 
Thank you for checking out this week's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and watch the next one we got picked out for you. And we'll see you next time.